Okay, peeps, Love Island is back. Now, it's got me. It's got me right from the start. You know, sometimes these programs, they take a, a while for you to warm up, but not this one. This series is wicked. But you know what I'm, I'm going to talk about today is men who hide their feelings. Because I was thinking about, about Niall, first of all, when um, Kendall said to him, look, you know, um, I need to go with this other guy. He's chosen me. Are you OK? Yeah, 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 I'm all right. No probs, no probs, blah, 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 blah. And the next minute he's telling the guys that, you know, he's got an issue. He should have said this. He should have said that. He really likes her. He's upset, blah, blah, blah. Then same thing happens with Jack. Danny says to him, oh, I don't, um, I just want to be friends. I don't want to carry this through. Oh, no problem. That's the way I'm feeling, just to be friends. And the next thing you know, he's saying, um, oh, I'm really hurt. I didn't want to upset. I didn't want her to know that I was upset because I didn't want to spoil her day. And no, it's, it's fine. Everything is fine. And he made out to her that everything was fine. Um, with Niall, I think Kendra picked it up a bit because she's a bit more sensitive. But Danny genuinely believed that Jack was on the same page as she was. Now, what I'm trying to say is if men are not honest with their feelings and they carry that hurt and extend it into another relationship, because what happens is, is that as you saw, they had some girls come in. In some two new girls have gone into the house now and are on the island. And now, you know, it's almost like they've got their revenge and you hear them talking and collaborating and saying, oh, yeah, I bet she's going to regret saying this and blah, blah, blah. And this is where the revenge is acted out. Now, in Danny's case, Danny hasn't got a clue. She just thought, OK, they're both on the same page. They want to be friends. She's realised now now there's a bit of competition that maybe she shouldn't have said that. But the fact of the matter is, is that the men were not honest about their feelings. And then I believe that that is the problem with relationships today, because they take that rejection and plant it in a new relationship and have lack of patience, lack of tolerance, and they're just hostile and they just don't want to, you know, they're just, it's out of spite almost. And I don't know how that can become a wholesome relationship because if the woman who they have left and feel hurt from is getting on with her life and this new person steps into their life, she's getting a raw deal and she doesn't even know why she's getting a raw deal. And as for Wes, talking about after, you know, he's cuddling up with Laura and saying, you know, oh, I really like you, you've got beautiful eyes, blah, 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 bullshit. Next thing he's saying, it's not um, loyalty. This isn't a loyalty island, it's love island. What's that about? So not only are they, I shouldn't, I'm not, don't want to generalise, but not only are they dishonest about their feelings, they're dishonest about what they're actually saying. So as women, how do we know when and how to take a man seriously? I mean, this Love Island, I love it because it shows you so much about men and the dynamics of relationship. And I think that's why so many people watch it. You learn so much about the dynamics. And I mean, I know they're young people, um, but I think that those traits and those behaviour extend to, across the gamut. I believe strongly that men do not speak out honestly a lot of men do not speak out on honestly a lot of them don't wear their emotions on their sleeve they carry resentment into the next relationship and as a result we um, end up with the cast off or the remnants of what could be a very very wholesome relationship well it's on again tonight but that's all i'm going to say about love island bye